As the Delta variant continues to wreak havoc across the United States, the top health experts in the United States have warned of a looming Omicron wave of infections. Express, experts have warned that the Omicron variant will dominate the newly registered cases in the coming weeks due to its very high transmissibility. And although Delta continues to circulate widely in the United States, Omicron is increasing rapidly and we expect it to become the dominant strain in the United States as it has in other countries in the coming weeks. We've seen cases of Omicron among those who are both vaccinated and boosted, and we believe these cases are milder or asymptomatic because of vaccine protection. What we do know is we have the tools to protect ourselves against COVID-19. Now, so far, 45 American states have recorded cases of the Omicron variant. And according to a report by the Washington Post, nearly about 19 states have also witnessed a significant surge in the number of COVID-19 infections over the course of the last one week. And amongst them is the District of Columbia that saw the biggest rise of nearly 39% in the infection rate. Omicron variant currently accounts for 3% of the coronavirus infections in the United States, which is up from the 0.4% that was witnessed last week. Now, the top U.S. pandemic advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, has also warned of a very bleak winter ahead as the Omicron variant has spurred a new wave of infections globally. Fauci has also urged Americans who are traveling during the holidays to get a booster dose to help slow down the spread of the virus. Well, I think people just need to be prudent. Clearly, when you travel, there is always a risk of increased infection. That just goes with respiratory illnesses. But if people need to travel and want to travel for the obvious family reasons during this holiday season, if you're vaccinated and you're boosted and you take care when you go into congregate settings like airports to make sure you continually wear your mask, you should be okay. But we are going to see breakthrough infections, Chuck. There's no doubt right. about that. The difference between a vaccinated and boosted person who has an infection and someone who has an infection who's never been vaccinated, a major difference with regard to the risk of severity. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.